This is a time when social distancing can save lives. We know that. But it's also for some of our most vulnerable population to become more isolated. It has. And as Nabil Bramadna shows us, a phone call can help brighten someone's day. So even before the pandemic, social isolation was a major concern. Shauna Marceau with Meals on Wheels Central Texas says those concerns have grown during the pandemic. What really helps the human soul is just that verbal conversation. A phone call. It can be quick to say hello. Hello. Hey Earl, this is Nabil again. Or it can last hours. For 78-year-old Earl Bissett, it doesn't matter. He just enjoys the company. I just enjoy talking. Earl was part of Sunshine Calls, a four-week program put on by the Dell Medical School through Meals on Wheels and developed in response to the increased physical and social isolation that came with the pandemic. Volunteers would call participants and talk about life from the weather to what the participant enjoyed doing. You would be called by someone who authentically was interested in you. The program used empathy to help those who might be struggling with loneliness or depression. The way you know you're successful is if you feel like you've learned from the other person. After the first week, participants got to choose how many calls they would receive. Some chose just a few days, while Earl received a call a day from his caller. I enjoyed it because we, we talked for about 30 minutes a, a day. For, for the month. In the end, the study found the calls reduced depression, loneliness, and anxiety. I enjoyed talking to her because she brightened up my day. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. The overall goal is to eventually get the program picked up by health insurance. Meals on Wheels continues to call their participants and they offer that social connection. And because of the pandemic, Meals on Wheels, it's moved its meal drop off schedule to every other week. But a change is coming. They plan to reopen for daily meal deliveries in mid-April. They're then going to be looking for more than 200 volunteers to help get meals to clients. Very sweet. I love that. Do y'all love those long phone calls with, with, with mm -hmm. friends or family? Or are you more of just like, let me see you in person. We'll save it for, for when I see ya. you. You know, my, all my family lives out of state. Yeah. So I go in with them thinking, oh, it'll just be like a 10 minute phone call with grandma hour and a half later. Oh, I'm like, that's oh, so yeah. sweet. I bet she appreciates that though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think it does more for my heart than it does for her. Oh. <laughs> she's out there by herself. So I'm like, okay, mm. grandma, update me on your crazy life. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. You know, yeah. like it's it's right. been two days. Right. I know you've been out and about. Um, so 